Hey guys, this is Julie Campbell, and I thought it might be nice to give you an overview, just a kind of a um, more up-close look through my Week in the Life album. Um, I just finished my album, and this is the first time I've ever done the Week in the Life project. If you're not familiar with Week in the Life, it is a concept that was originated by Allie Edwards, and basically it's probably what you think it is. Week in the Life is um, an album that you create one week during the year where you take lots of photos and tell lots of stories and it gives you basically a, it's almost like a time capsule of this period of time in your life. And I just, I really wanted to give this project a try because my kids are getting older and I haven't been a memory keeper in the past and it's kind of struck me all of a sudden the importance of being able to remember um, these later years in their childhood and not only my children but actually the project started out because I just wanted to capture a week in my life. Um, my grandmother who is 85 completed an album that she gave to all of her grandkids and it's basically her story of from the time she was born until now. Um, it's a much more condensed version but I just love it and I think um, you know even if my children or grandchildren don't ever want to um, take a look at my albums that's really it's okay with me because I think even for my own enjoyment, I'm going to really love to look back on this album um, year after year and just kind of see what our life was like because you never know how many changes might happen just within um, a few years time. So um, a little bit about this album. I did purchase a Week in the Life kit from Allie Edwards site and it came with this 6x8 album. Um, also several journaling cards and some embellishments. I thought it was a really great kit, especially for the price point. Um, she did a great job. So um, I'm just going to kind of flip through and tell you a little bit about our week in the life. Um, for my cover page, I had some artwork that was done by Brandy Kincaid and she has an Etsy shop. She does such amazing work. I sent her some photos of our family and then um, this is the doodle that she sent back to me. And um, I just added a little bit of color here. I love that she was able to include our dog, Moses. He's a big part of our family. And then I just added um, the text here and the dates here below. So to begin with, I, um, I have some items from, I subscribe to the Studio Calico Kits and um, I believe this paper was maybe from a card kit just in the last couple of months. But I loved um, the words and um, a great way to begin the album, I thought. Um, and I used a little bit of a, a digital element here that's also from Allie's site. And just started out the week with my son riding his bike. And we also actually, as you'll see later, we ended the week the same way. So I thought this was pretty fitting. Um, Part of the album are these 3x8 page protectors, and these um, prompt cards are one of the items that came in the kit, which I really love these because um, you can do, you know, so many different things with that. I've seen people put different photos here, but I decided to just kind of do a timeline of what our day looked like each day, and then I used a little star stamp and then stamped over whatever particular day that it was. Um, so I, I found that these long cards were really nice to add. If I had a little bit more of a story to tell, it's a great place to put that. Um, this is another really great prompt that this is, um, by Brandy Kincaid as well. It's in her Etsy shop and it's a digital download. So you can just purchase it and print as many as you like. Um, but I loved, I had, I went ahead and purchased this before, um, my week in the life began and it was great to have these prompts and I went ahead on, on a scratch piece of paper. I um, just jotted down answers to each of these little things and then I also added this stamp and I put grateful for. I wanted to 
make sure that I added something that I was thankful for during each day. So for Sunday, um, this Sunday we made it to church in the morning and this was the uh, program that they handed out before church. And so I just wanted to go ahead and add that in. Um, I have these buttons that, these flare buttons that seem to fit pretty well. And most of the time throughout my album, I just adhered with my hot glue gun some of the more dimensional products, which ended up being very helpful. After I did day one, my youngest son, who's 10, um, he found his way up to my craft room and I kind of watched him from um, behind because I was really surprised. My kids have never been interested really in anything, any of my projects that I work on, um, probably because they're boys. The only thing my son usually is interested in is taking my scissors or my glitter or something that he's not supposed to have and he's usually doing some kind of experiment with it. It's usually not the kind of interest that I'm hoping for. Um, but he happened to flip through this first page and I noticed when he was flipping through that anytime there was something that was tangible or had some dimension, he just spent time, like I just watched his little fingers and he liked to feel each of those different items. Um, and so after day one, I thought, you know, I'm going to not worry about keeping this super simple. If I have something available that could add something tangible to my album, I want to go ahead and do that because I could tell that it seemed to be um, something that brought a lot of interest to my son. Um, so I started to just go ahead and tell some stories here. Um, and one of the thing, one of the other things that I noticed at the beginning, um, I was a little bit worried that when my son started reading stories that were that um, he was included in, I was afraid he might be embarrassed. He's kind of, my oldest one is definitely at this point, but my youngest one's getting to the point where he doesn't want his picture posted on social media. He's starting to become more private. Um, I hear all the time, you're not going to post that, are you, mom? So I was a little bit worried that maybe he wouldn't like to see a story about himself. Um, but as I watched him while he was reading through the different journaling, whenever he started reading a story about himself, he started to smile and I could tell that it made him happy that his life was being captured. Um, so that was just kind of something, it was a first for me and really encouraged me to get through the week and make sure that I had lots of stories documented. So um, this is still Sunday and I used some different journaling cards that I had on hand. Um, this is one of the two restaurants that we have in our town. So I took a picture and this is where we had lunch that day. Um, I did some Goodwill shopping. I love thrift store shopping. And I found this house dress, um, which originally I wanted it for the vintage fabric to make another project, but I kind of ended up really liking it. So now I've just um, kept it for myself. But it came with the tag still on and anytime that I had any kind of ephemera throughout the week I kept it and collected it and tried to add it in as much as I could. So here I've just added in the tags um, here to the side and I love this card. It doesn't have to be perfect to be wonderful which is kind of my theme for well for my life but this album as well. You'll kind of see that as you go through. Um, this is a journaling card by Jasmine Jones for Studio Calico. Um, I love her handwriting and I just added some chipboard hearts to the outside here. Um, this is a photo taken from church just so I could remember what it looked like during that period of time. Um, this full photo was one that I just snapped with my iPhone and the lighting wasn't very good. Um, I almost deleted it because it didn't look very good just directly off the phone but when I uploaded it um, and I changed it to black and white I was so surprised I just I really love this photo so it captures um, one of our family members here Moses our Boston Terrier and I just cut the photo in half um, added a little uh, some rub-ons and a chipboard heart so um, going through the same thing we've got the different hours of the day listed here. Um, another story here about my son. This is the one that he actually really liked. 
um, about himself. And then, okay, so Monday, here are my prompts again. Um, Monday, I Monday morning, I got some happy mail from my friend Brandy. She's actually the same one who did the art that I talked about earlier. Um, she knew that I was looking for some vintage fabric for some projects, and she is such a good uh, bargain hunter, and she's so good at knowing what style of things that I would like. So she found some fabric and she sent it my way and she also added some other things in this package and it was, it just really made my day. I loved it. I love it when somebody um, really gets me and gets my personality and she must be really great at fall, uh, paying attention to detail because she was just spot on. Um, this is a printable that I got from Christine Heron's website. If you sign up for her weekly newsletter, she'll send you a um, the digital product each Tuesday, I believe. So um, that's where I got this, and then I added the text over the top. Um, and here's just another one here I put on the back. This was the tag that was on the fabric that Brandy found, and I just punched a couple of holes here and pinned it right through. Um, the journaling card. Um, I wanted to add a couple of the recipes that I tried this week. These were a couple that turned out really well and I know that I'd like to come back revisit these recipes at another time so I printed those out and added those in. Um, I used my fuse till quite a bit throughout this album which was great for sealing things in. I don't have to worry about um, journaling cards and pages falling out through just through time and through handling. Um, so here is a picture of the Happy Mail that I received and I, uh, I just cut out a little piece of that fabric and stapled that on just, um, just to have a more visual image of what it looked like and the texture. I just love that. Here's the food that I made that night that corresponds with the, um, recipes. Um, this page... This is one of the projects that I want to work on that I found on Pinterest. So I might make something like this or something similar to this. And I just wanted to kind of remember this idea. Um, this is a story about my son. And I just added a little bit of extra journaling on a card here. And it tucks down under. Um, most of my pictures of my oldest son you'll see are very blurry. Um, not very detailed because he is a teenager. He does not enjoy having his picture taken so I kind of had to be sneaky and take pictures when he wasn't realizing that I was doing so but I did want to include him in my album so that's why all his pictures kind of look like that um, so here another day um, Tuesday my I took a screenshot of my when my alarm goes off on work days so 4 20 a.m. you gotta love that um, I've got a story about my work and um, kind of like where my heart is with that and things that I'm hoping to change in life. Um, kind of a long story there um, that I just wanted to have available but I didn't really want it front and center where anyone flipping through can kind of read some of my um, deeper thoughts and emotions. So I, I like when there's options to kind of tuck those stories away. Um, with these items, when I have a pull-out tab, I didn't want the other two papers to pull out at the same time as I'm pulling this tab. So I placed a brad through the bottom of these two sheets, um, and then I used a little chipboard piece to cover up the, the legs of the brad, or whatever you call them. Um, and I, I thought it kind of, it reminds me of my, like a button on a smartphone, so I thought that worked out pretty well. So Tuesday, um, I kind of wanted to capture what it was like on my my typical work day. Um, I'm a surg surgical nurse at a children's hospital, so I got a, a picture of myself here in my surgical cap, and here I am. Let's see, it's kind of sorry for the glare. Um, my scrubs. That's our daily attire. Um, this is a page from. It's actually the cover from a vintage Red Cross book. And um, I just cut that out and added that in here. Um, this talks about my commute and my very long commute. I drive 130 miles a day to get combined um, to get to and from work. 
so then um, this is a little story about the evening that I've got over here. Um, the he said and she said story cards here. Um, Wednesday, we ended up making a little trip to Ikea, which we live in Indiana, but the closest Ikea right now is in Ohio. And I happen to have this Ohio flair, so I added that here. Um, this is the Ikea map. So I added that in, it fit in nicely, added a little chipboard here. Um, this is a picture of me in the car with all of the things that we purchased while we were there. And then I added, this is one of the things that we bought um, for my oldest son's bedroom and I just wanted to kind of remember the purchase, how much it cost, things like that. I thought it might be interesting to look in later on. On the trip home, let's see, sorry for the glare here, um, we made it a pit stop at Starbucks and I have this flare that uh, Brandy also designed and it looks perfect whenever you have a photo of Starbucks. So I added that on. Um, here's our meal at Ikea. This talks about my love for my husband and how he always volunteers to drive, especially on longer trips and I love it because I can just sit and read or do whatever I want. I can relax and it makes for a very fun little outing for me. Not sure if it does for him but um, and then in the evening, my um, I picked up my kids from my parents, and my mom had given me a a, um, a bunch of fresh peaches from an, uh, an orchard. So we had some vanilla bean ice cream with fresh peaches on top, which is one of my favorite things. Um, so I just kind of added some images that kind of went along with that story, and this is my son when he had fallen asleep at night, and I just. Um, I love his sweet little face and I know that it'll be like in a blink, he'll be a teenager and I just wanted to capture him in his youth and just remember that. So this page is a story about my Goodwill house dress and, um, how I wore it for the first time. Um, a little story about that. This is all artwork from, um, Ashley Goldberg or Ashley G and I added that in. Thought it coordinated really well. Um, okay, for Thursday, um, I we ended up taking a trip to a running store because my son runs, my oldest son runs cross country, and he's he's been having a lot of foot pain and um, really struggling. So we wanted to see if maybe he needed a different shoe or insert that kind of thing. And I added a story in here. Um, which you'd kind of be surprised that there would be a story about this, but um, we just had such a wonderful experience in the shoe store itself. My son is, um, he's very, very shy, very quiet, um, and kind of socially awkward, I guess, to be honest. And the the uh, attendant who was with us, he was just so kind, and he just did so well with my son and made him feel so comfortable. Um, so I just wanted to write a little story about that. Um, here I've got some chipboard that says run wild. I thought that worked well and added in some washi tape that had um, some images that would work well for a teenager and then the shoe, of course. Um, on this page, my Bowdoin catalog arrived and I love Bowdoin. Uh, I especially love, they have so many vintage inspired outfits and prints and I just... Um, I would love to be able to wear these kind of things daily or to a job, but living where I live is really not practical, and I wear scrubs at work, obviously, so um, I just kind of wrote a little bit about that. Um, let's see. Let me zoom in just a bit here. Um, this story, um, basically I'm confessing, I, I purchase lots of different types of cleaning products because it inspires me to get the work done. I don't know why, but if I have a new cleaning product, I will spend hours cleaning the house. And I I don't know why it inspires me, but it does, so I just go with it. Um, so this is kind of a story about that and my love for books and coffee. Um, basically this day, it was kind of a catch-up day. So just a normal kind of day in the life where there's lots of 
laundry and dishes and just kind of like the boring household things, but I did want to capture that. Um, this, I took a screenshot of one of the podcasts that I like to listen to and, um, I just cut out different portions, added a little bit of adhesive, uh, foam adhesive. And this is another one of my big motivators. If I have a podcast to listen to, I can do get so much more done for some reason. Um, so this is kind of an example of what I was talking about. Whenever I get a picture of my son, it has to be one that's from a distance, one that he doesn't realize that I'm taking. And this was him at cross country practice. He ran for an hour straight and with his feet hurting so bad, I'm so proud of him. He just, he doesn't give up. And, um, so that's what this is about here. Added a little rub on here at the top so that you could actually see what the photo was, um, all about since he's, He's such a tiny little portion of that photo right here. Um, on my quest to find some more vintage fabric, I found this um, 1960s, 1970s sheet on eBay. And it was brand new, still in the packaging. And actually, I've been looking for this print for quite some time. So I was like, very happy to find this. I just cut off a section of the sheet because um, I am going to be using it for to make some projects, so I didn't need it to be intact. And added that here on top. Um, this is part of the original packaging. And then I added um, a tag here that tells a little bit about it. And I cut a little slit with my fuse so that the tag could just slide in there. Let's see, I'll fix that later. Um, I liked these two by two um, page protectors that came in the kit and I had a few items that um, didn't really have a home other places so I thought this would be a good place for it and I didn't really need the full sheet so I just cut it in half. Um, wood veneer to symbolize our family. We've got um, this is this um, is a transparency for Thursday, a, f a selfie that I took. Um, flowers that I grew even though I have a black thumb. Um, the bicycle theme goes throughout this album so I added that in. Um, I've got this acrylic letter that corresponds to our last name. Um, and then just some other things here on the back. Um, this is also a digital stamp from Christine Heron in her coffee set which is a great set if you are a coffee fan you might want to check it out. Um, another picture of a photo, a flat, or an, another photo of one of the flowers I have growing. Okay, Friday. Friday, I, um, started out my morning by getting my hair done, and it's been a really long time since I had, um, time to get in and get anything done, so I had my hair cut and highlighted and styled, and my hairdresser charged me $25. Um, so I said, can I please have a receipt for that? Which I never asked for a receipt. She looked at me a little funny, but I said, I have to document this because no other place is going to give you a complete um, style for $25. And so I need this for proof. Um, so I went ahead and added that, that receipt here. Um, this is some more artwork that Brandy did of our dog Moses. Let's see, sorry a little dark here. Hopefully you can see this. Um, I added a, some color to it in Photoshop and added it. This is one of the quotes that I ask that she put in the banner and I think it fits really well um, with our family and our dog and how much he means to us. Um, so this is a story about our dog over here. He, um, he watches from the window every morning and every afternoon and somehow he knows when the bus is going to come um, and when the bus is going to return. And he just watches. And um, it's amazing to me how he has this internal clock. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to kind of capture that because it's one thing that we love about our dog. Um, this is a story about um, a devotional that I'm working on. It's from this company called She Reads Truth. So I added their business card here um, behind the photo. Um, this is a story um, about getting some fresh vegetables from my dad's garden and um, basically I, I I made a BLT for the first time. I know I don't know why I hadn't 
done it before, but now I have one almost every day ever since this, and um, it was just so delicious. So I added that in, and my grandma also sent some custard, which um, this custard it has a story to it. It was my great grandmother's recipe that she would make for my grandpa when he was a little boy, and he loved it so much that he asked my grandma to get the recipe and um, if ask her if she would make it for him once they were married. Um, and so she's made it ever since. And um, it just makes me think about my grandpa and he's passed away. So that is the story there. Um, this is a photo that I took. Um, it's, we live a mile from my parents' home, the home that I grew up in. And this is the road that I think I will remember until I am 120 years old. I have been up and down this road so many times riding my bike as a young kid. Um, anyway, this road just has a lot of significance to me, but it gives an idea of the simplicity of our life and what it looks like um, living where we live. Basically, where we live in a very rural area, everything you see, it's either corn or beans and there's no traffic. It's just that's just kind of, it's just quiet and simple, and that's our life. So, um, I added this sticker that says Celebrate Simplicity. Um, and I added, this is one of the cards, Project Life cards, that I've kept because I've, I love it, and it just, basically, it speaks my motto in life. I just want to make nice things and get enough sleep. That is the truth. And then I added this little wood veneer dog that reminds me of our dog, Moses. Um, Saturday. So, um, Saturday, my youngest son ended up with a trip to the emergency room. Um, and this is his ID band that I added here inside. Um, these are his discharge instructions. Um, but the day started out really great. It was a beautiful day. Um, I posted on Instagram a picture of uh, me hanging my sheets out on the line. It was just such... It was, it wasn't too hot. There was a breeze. It was just beautiful summer day. So my husband, um, finally said yes to my, my youngest son's begging that he would take him to a skate park. He's been wanting to go to the skate park ever since he got his new bicycle this summer for his birthday because he wanted to try it out, try some ramps and things like that. So they went and did that. Um, while I was at home, I joined in the Studio Calico online chat and, um, Brandy does a doodle for each chat to kind of just sum everything up. So I added that in. So my husband sends me a picture of my son just having a blast at the skate park. He's loving it. Um, about 10 minutes later, I get a phone call and it's my husband saying, Hey, um, where would be the best place for me to take Emery to the emergency room? Um, so he, he had a an accident over in this bowl that you can't hardly see over here but he was I think he had been watching the X Games and he thought he could do some kind of a I don't know fly through the air twist kind of thing on his bike um he's 10 years old so anyway it didn't work out well for him and I added um this rub on that says noted and then this little um gold foiled piece that said, well, that didn't work. We ended up in the ER. Um, he needed to get five stitches. He cracked one of his back teeth. Um, but thankfully he didn't have any broken bones, but we were at the emergency room for hours and hours and hours. Um, by the time we were done, everyone was just exhausted. And so I took a picture of my son. He was just so tired. He couldn't even keep his eyes open anymore. Um, so Finishing up my album, Allie has a Sunday quote that she posts on her blog. Um, it's free to download, and I thought that it just really summed up our week really nicely. It says, every moment one lives is different from the other. The good, the bad, hardships, the joy, the tragedy, love, and happiness are all interwoven into one single, indescribable whole that is called life. You cannot separate the good from the bad, and perhaps there is no need to do so either, um, by Jacqueline Kennedy. And I just thought that summed up our week so well. Um, and then once again, I have the quote, a beautiful thing is never perfect. Um, I did have a few items that, um, photos and different things that I wanted to include in my album, but it didn't really, um, there wasn't a really great spot to put them. 
So I just um, cut them in two by two squares, added in some ephemera that had meaning to me, and just filled up this page. And then on the back, I added the paper that corresponds to the um, first paper that I added in. So now I have the end. Um, it was worth it, and that's a wrap. And just added a couple of more photos here, and that finished up my album. So um, thank you. I know this was kind of a long video, so if you happen to make it all the way through, thanks for watching. Um, Hopefully this will be an inspiration to you. Whenever I started this project, I um, I looked at a couple of different people's albums um, to just kind of get a basic idea about what this project entailed. But I really didn't want to um, look too much at um, different things until I got my album done because I really wanted this to be authentic to me, to really capture um, what my life was like and my style, things like that. Um, so, um, this is just the way that I do it. There are so many ways I'm sure that you can capture your life. Um, another thing that was extremely helpful to me, Allie has these downloads that, um, were on her website and basically it has the hours of the day so you can jot down what you do throughout the day. Um, up here at the top, I jotted down the prompts from Brandy's doodle print printables. Um, so that's where I kind of wrote in those kind of things. Um, on the back, she's got breakfast, lunch, dinner, other observations, over her, overheard, favorite moment, and gratitude. And I am so glad I took the time daily to do this before I went to bed. I just wrote everything out. I mean, it's extremely sloppy, but that's fine because this is just kind of your worksheet. And at the end of the week, I came back to this and I was amazed how much I had forgotten what happened just days earlier. So something like this I think is invaluable. You really, um, so during the week where I'm taking photos, um, I'm writing things down. Another thing that was really helpful to me, um, I like to post my life to Instagram and sometimes I can be a little wordy on Instagram, but it actually worked out really well because I could just copy my text from Instagram and then um, be able to print that out and put that along with some photos in my book. So between these words and then those on Instagram, it made putting the album together so much easier. Um, so anyway, thanks again for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. And I really hope that if you are at all inclined to work on this project that you do give it a, give it a try. Um, I'm very thankful that I took the time to do this because I think I'm going to love this album from for years to come. Thank you.